everyone, I'm Hannah Brewer, Miss Queen State Outstanding Teen. Welcome to my blog. Today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the event that I just came from, which was the Living Well Party, a part of the Lancaster Heart Association. Here's the flyer. It was a, supposed to be a very swanky affair. Uh, they had a whole showcase of different uh, vendors at this event and it was very uh, educating it was a really well done event so props to Anne Marie who is the senior director of the Lancaster Heart Association you always do such great events so today at the event they had uh, a basically a showcase of all the different maybe the sponsors of the American Heart Association in Lancaster they had some different things that you uh, different vendors that you can uh, use to get heart healthy one of the vendors that they had was the Lancaster School of Cosmetology and Therapeutic Body Work. And they were giving out free massages. And it was amazing because I've never really had a real massage before. And it was worth my while, definitely. Uh, they also had Nutrafreak and Darren Camps, which is a local, local grocery store there. And Nutrafreak is one of the ladies that works there, Sally. She is uh, the Nutrafreak. And she gives out uh, different advice and different tips on how to be heart healthy. Which was, of course, a great way uh, to spread the word by being at Lancaster Heart Association. So today, what I learned uh, with Nutrafreak and with Sally was some different things that you can do to change your snacking habits. And the thing that I got to try while I was there was peanut butter and pretzels. Two very things that I go for myself when I'm reaching in my snack cabinet at night. So I first looked at... Jeff peanut butter and the thing that I learned was that you're really supposed to be reading this little black print right under the nutrition facts and it's very hard to see so I will be reading it made from roasted peanuts of course the first ingredient should always be peanuts but then you soon learn that this is just a this is just processed food nothing really more to it than that it's not good for you they have sugar 2% or less of molasses Fully hydrogenated vegetable oils. Basically, that means that that is trans fat. And if you look on these nutrition facts, it says that there is zero trans fat. But uh, hydrogenated vegetable oils is basically trans fat. So I was thinking, how can I... I love peanut butter. I have peanut butter sandwiches. Sometimes I just eat the peanut butter right from the right from the little cup. So I'm thinking, oh, that's probably not very good for me. And of course, I want to be heart healthy. I want to practice what I preach. So I found a good solution and I got to try it myself. It was delicious, surprisingly. Um, and it is zero trans fat, really zero trans fat. It is 100% natural peanut butter. There is no other ingredients in this other than peanut butter. And if you read the back, it says the only ingredients are peanut butter peanuts. That's great. Now, if you look at the top, it has some little stuff coming around, but that's just the peanut butter peanut butter oil, which is the good oils that you want in your body. It's non-toxic, which is great, and it's one uh, baby step you can take to be more heart healthy. The next thing that I'm going to be showing you are the pretzels, and they're just the regular pretzels that you could buy at a grocery store. They are artificial butter flavored little pretzels. So the ingredients on the back say that it's wheat flour, which is not really great for you. Sugar, malt, I think that's the stuff that they put in ice cream, right? <laughs> in a milkshake. Uh, salt, corn oil, artificial butter flavor, honey, yeast, and soda, and contains wheat. Uh, sodium is 590 milligrams, which is not good at all. So if you're looking at the back and you're looking at the nutrition facts, this is overall not something great that you want to be eating. So, an alternative is you can switch to whole wheat. And although you're probably thinking, whole wheat, you want me to eat whole wheat pretzels, that sounds disgusting. But actually, I will tell you what, I'm a very picky eater and I found this exactly, be exactly the same, if not better, than the original pretzels. I thought they were saltier and a little bit crispier, and that's really what I like in a pretzel. I don't want them soggy and... That's just, no, non-soggy pretzels. So, if you look at the servings, uh, the nutrition facts back here, it, in it contains unbleached wheat flour, water, canola oil, and salt yeast. And the sodium is 300 milligrams, 
with just 220 milligrams less of sodium in the original pretzels, which is a great downgrade. It's also uh, no trans fat, no preservatives. So it's just a good uh, alternative. It, and it tastes exactly the same. And like I said, almost even better if that's what you prefer. So I don't see why you can't take these little baby steps to being more heart healthy. It's something very easy and simple to do. So you can go to your local grocery store. And if you don't have these items at your local grocery store, you can go to Darren Camps. If you're local to the Lancaster or York, Pennsylvania area, uh, Darren Camps, D A R R E N. K-A-M-P-S. They sell these. I got them at this grocery store. It's right across from the Double Tree Resort uh, where they held the event today. So I really hope that you took something from this little lesson today and I'll be posting more updates soon and hopefully I'll be posting some more heart healthy things that you can substitute from your regular diet. Thank you.